Right, so welcome back to experiment two. Um, what you're going to need for this is the contents of pack two, but also from experiment one, you will need the phenol phthalein indicator. If you spilt it, use one of the others uh, and a pasta pipette. So <clears throat> this is a micro scale titration. And what we're going to do is we are going to carry this out simply in one of the bijous in place of a flask. So that goes there. What we're going to do is we're going to take one milliliter of vinegar and you can see there's a line up there that's where one milliliter is so you get your vinegar you take it up to the line there and you then put your one milliliter of vinegar into the little bijou that can then go off to the side <coughs> now we're going to add one or two drops of indicator doesn't need any more. Let's put two in. Two. Okay. And now what we're going to do is we're going to get our sodium hydroxide. Now, the way we're going to do this, normally with a titration, you would have a series of markings on the side of the burette and you measure the volume that way. We're not going to do that. It wouldn't really work here. What we're going to do is we're going to count the drops. Each drop is a standard size. And so from the size of drops, you can then work back to the um, volume. Um, if you want, as it says in the instructions, you can work out how many drops you get to a milliliter. Thing is, it's important to make sure that your pasta pipette is vertical. That way you end up with the same size drop every time. If you're moving it around, the drop could be a different size. So there's one milliliter I got in exactly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 25, 26. So 26 is this one. It's normally round about 20 to 22. So obviously this is a slightly different one. Anyway, so you just get a significant volume of the sodium hydroxide in. It doesn't really matter how much. Move that out of the way. And then you start adding it a few drops at a time. Um, you will start to see a slight pink color going on at a time make sure you keep track four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve no sign of anything yet thirteen fourteen ooh, fifteen now you may not be able to see this on the video but when i add the drop i saw a slight trace of pink which then disappears that's 15 that's 16 17 so when it gets close you then start to give it a bit of a shake between drops 18 19 20 and the idea is that you stop when the pink color stays one two that's looking just about it so there we are so 22 milliliters there we are now you can repeat it if you wish but there's there is no need so you you keep on going until you get your permanent color change 